This morning, the SBI has taken over an investigation after a Concord police officer shot a man after a confrontation that happened at an apartment building. We first told you about this as breaking news last night at 730. Since then, we've learned new information from police and our Faith Alfred is live for us in Concord. Faith, what have you learned about the man who police shot? Yeah, good morning to you, Alex and Mary. Now, police have not released the name just yet, but we do know he's expected to be okay. He's currently at a hospital in Concord, and once he's released, he's going to be charged. Now, this all happened yesterday around 6 o'clock here at the Lock Mill Apartments. It's quiet now, but it was a much different scene yesterday. A Concord police say there were reports of shots being fired inside one of the apartments here where the man's girlfriend lives. Once officers arrived, police say that man had already left. Officers collected evidence, then left, but say within eight minutes, they got a, another call that man had returned to that apartment. Once Concord police arrived back at the scene and they entered that apartment, officers say that man raised a gun and pointed it at them. One officer fired two rounds, striking the man twice. Officers helped him until paramedics arrived and took him to the hospital. Neighbors, including children, were home as this was all happening, obviously very frightened by all of this. We spoke with Major Todd McGee. He says situations like this can be unpredictable. We're extremely fortunate. Anytime a firearm's fired, you know, there's a, there's a final uh, resting place for that bullet. And unfortunately, in a congested apartment complex like this, you know, there's lots of people that live here. The population's significant. And, you know, we're, we're very fortunate that no citizens or officers were hurt today. Again, that man is in the hospital and expected to make a full recovery. As for that officer, he is currently on leave. That's just standard procedure. Again, all of this is still under investigation. We're going to bring you updates as we get them. Live in Concord, Faith Alford, WBTV, on your side.